Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video will be covering the workspace and kind of general layout of AutoCAD. Uh, so whenever you go to open up a uh, AutoCAD drawing, your screen will look something like this. You've got recent documents over here that you can set up in different types of settings. You've got your A360. It's an online service that I'll leave that up to you if you want to investigate it. I won't be teaching that in this course. Uh, but your main part over here will be you can start a drawing from scratch, templates, which will be another video, and then open files, which is really just these recent files. So I'm just going to start a drawing. And as you notice, I started this drawing. I already had a couple other ones open here. Uh, so up here on top, this shows all your active drawings. Very important to know that. Uh, uh, with AutoCAD, you have your drawing area. This right here, this dark area, will be your drawing area. If you hit your F2 key, Function 2 key at the top, you'll get your text box. Now, if you have a laptop, sometimes the F2 key at the top is maybe volume control or something. You might have to hit a special key like a shift to get that function key to work. But this right here, whatever I type, say I type units, it, uh, I'm going to go back to F2, it shows me my previous commands. Just a nice little reference uh, if you need to look back at something. Uh, up here on top are all your commands <clears throat> and different types of settings. Uh, down here at the bottom, you'll see some more uh, settings that you can use. This right here is your coordinates. and You'll watch these numbers will move as I move my cursor. And, of course, only the first two, because that's X and Y. The third one is Z. Again, I will have a video on coordinates. I just want to get you uh, used to the layout here. Down here at the bottom is your command line. This is what's very unique with AutoCAD. Uh, very few of any softwares have where you can actually type in commands. This goes way, way back to the beginning of AutoCAD. Uh, the nice thing is I call this your lifeboat because if, if you learn 2018 but somebody sits you down and wants you to take a test in 2010, you may not be able to find it up here because it's all moved around. But no matter what version, if I need to draw a line, I could just type in L-I-N-E down here at the bottom. And even if I can't remember how to spell a command, say uh, I'm chamfer, I go C-H, I can just look for it here and say, okay, there, there's chamfer right there. Click on it and it starts the command. Again, as a beginner, this is where you're going to be looking for information as you go through a command. It's going to prompt you. That's why this is called the prompt. Uh, and over here on the side, your screen may look a little bit different because of which options I have turned on or settings. If you go right here to customization, anything that's checked uh, is going to show up. Now, if I wanted to just come along here and check everything, I'll just do a bunch of them here. You're going to have all these options. If you don't know what these are, there's no reason for to have them up. Okay, so the first thing when you open up your screen, just like I tell my students in class, when you go to jump in somebody's car to borrow it, uh, uh, you're going to adjust the seat, uh, you're going to adjust the mirrors, you're probably going to change the, the, the radio station, uh, you uh, might change the temperature, air conditioner, heater, so you're going to set it to the way that you want it. This is what you have to do with AutoCAD. So for this course, we'll leave coordinates on, grid, snap, dynamic input, polar tracking, all of this. We'll go through, uh, we're not going to do 3D, we're not going to do uh, dynamic, selection filtering, all of these we're not going to be going in, so you notice all those are going away. So now I've got what I know. Uh, so that's how you would uh, select those. And for them to be active, they have to be blue. 
if I click on it, you notice it got dark. One thing also, when you hover over it, it will tell you something of what it is. Also, on some of them, like this one, you will see an F8. This lets you know that you can hit your F8 key, and I want you to watch this one right here. I'm going to hit the F8 key, and it'll turn blue, then it turns back to black. Okay, those are function keys along the top of your screen where we originally hit F2 for the text screen. You can turn things on and off. These have been the same since I began back in the early 90s. Uh, so those are the options to use. Uh, so you have to input your commands down here, or if you want to, you know, here I could type in line, L-I-N-E, or there's hot keys. I can just hit L, enter, and it starts. I would recommend that you go print out a uh, the hot keys for 2018, and you'll see there's a, there's a lot of abbreviations if you want to type it in. If not, you can always come up here and type in line, and your command is already started. Okay, starting them up here or typing any command down here will start it. You see something up here that says array? Like right here, I can come down here and just type array. And also, right over here, you have the dynamic input, which I will be going over in another video. This allows this command line to be up on the screen. So instead of typing L and it being down here, it's up here on the screen where I'm watching. So these are the different options. Which one you use is up to you. Uh, all these pull downs were not around a lot when I learned it, so I learned to type it. Plus, I'm ambidextrous, so I can use both my hands, the right one for the mouse and the left one for the typing. But you pick the one that you want. But know that this command line has always been there. This is your lifeboat. If you do an older version of AutoCAD, you know, even if it takes you a couple seconds to type in circle, you can at least start the command. When you look up here at these screens, you'll see some commands or options that have little arrows. These are flyouts. AutoCAD combine things together. You know, you open this up in rectangle or polygon. Uh, uh, fillet, which you will hear me call fillet because I am a fisherman. Uh, fillet uh, shares with chamfer. Uh, extend ex uh, uh, shares with trim and then of course any of these down here draw these are extra draw commands here's some extra modify commands and so on so anytime you see these little arrows those are considered flyouts uh, let's see also uh, make sure that whenever you're done doing a command that you hit the escape button because see there's still information down here at the bottom that means I am still in the command to always make sure hit your escape button a couple times and now you see type of command this again will be where you can put in information or even if you're not you know that you can go to line if I do that and then I want to go to circle well I have to stop this command so I just hit escape I see this is all clear down here, so now I could type circle and draw a uh, circle command, or draw a circle. And that concludes my video on the workspace. Thank you.